going to this school? Not that much. What's your name? My name's Keontae and Haiti. I'm in eighth grade. I'm here because I was fighting. I had a teacher. Mr. Johnson, how do you think I'm doing in your class? You're doing well. He's doing well. He's doing well. Are you close to getting out of here? Yes. Hmm. Now, his former life, he was a vice lord, and I'm going to let him tell you about that. Let's give a round of applause for Coach Brown. My nickname was Shotgun. You wouldn't even believe the things I done been through. I've been shot, kidnapped. All my life I wanted to be a game chief. Once I got to the top, my friends started dying around me. You could prevent yourself from going through all of that right now. You can change your mind right now. It's up to y'all. Y'all are our future. Introduce yourself to him. This is Derek. Can't say. What's up? I'm Derek. Show him your head. It say VL and then it got 7 2 hmm. to disguise it. So why do you put a vice lord in your head? The vice lord is where I be at. Just say you catch some cats out there drunk, smoking, drinking, and see you, see that in your head. Make an easy target for yourself. I'm telling you, man, when I was 13, I, I swear to God, I had this same haircut. So it's like automatically, man, when I look at you, I'm just looking at myself again. The risk of having vice lord in your head don't do nothing but tag you. And two letters can do a lot to you. Two letters can hurt you. V-L. It's cold out here. Yeah. I can tell you didn't like it. Right? Mm -hmm. You did not like that haircut. But you understand why though, why we, why we did that, right? Mm -hmm. This the corn I almost died for. I got a story to tell you about every corner over here, and they all had something to do with somebody getting hurt. So how old was you when you first went out on the streets? Like eight. Eight years old. So how you get into that? It's just I was selling it right after school. Mm -hmm. I was making like 500, 400 a day. My mama went, my mama was sick. She was in the hospital. What you do with the money? Just be spending like food, clothes. You know, your mother, she really care about you. And you out here on these streets, you, you letting her down. And also, you hurting her hard. This is peridium, it's for the bladder. Uh, and then I take uh, another medicine, it's for the lupus. I know you got a phone call from school about Keontae haircut. And what we seen is the look in Keontae's head and it looked like a gang sign. 
So we called Derek up there, and Derek said yes. He confirmed it because Derek used to be a part of that gang. He needs some kind of support that I I don't even know that I don't think I can give to him. Like I tell him to do something, or I knock you out that chair. He actually will hit you while you're in your wheelchair. He don't have respect for me as his mother. He ever got busted with drugs that you know of? He just been lucky. That's just it. Just ain't no. That's fire, bro. You heard the man what he said, bro. What if he not down there? He, he worked inside the stove, bro. I'm not smoking that way, too. See, now, though, if we do get healthy, we should smoke with her. Cold. The whole police station knows me because I done called and made um, that X amount of missing person reports. I can go in the bathroom and come out and he disappears. Just walks right out the door at night. Do it, do it affect your other child? He pulled a knife on him. He told him he was going to kill him. So he's planting fear in his brother. He said he was going to kill me. Make me feel sad and I was scared. Derek uh, Brown, who used to be a former gang chief and been mentoring kids using the boxing program called Boxing Out Negativity. You don't have no problem with Keontae being in the program, do you? Not at all. Right. Too duck right. You too sloppy. Do it again. Give him your gloves. Put his glo put the gloves on. We you putting on gloves? You gotta make sure your pants is up too. That's the first thing. You can't fight with no pants down your behind. This your jab, left hand, go. And he got some power on him. Is you you right-handed? Let me see. <laughs> this boy got some power on him. I like you, boy. Give me that jab again. Now all you gotta do is show him how to generate it the right way. You hurt somebody, man. Jab, 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 four. Put your hands up, you already right. One, two, one, two, four. Y'all hit like bricks, man. Y'all the hardest hitting kids. They said y'all fight a lot, but why fight for free when you could get paid for it, right? So y'all gonna come to the practice? Y'all gonna practice with us? I believe I was put here to help y'all. That's why I'm at Money For Your. That's why you see me coming through there talking. I don't want to see y'all ended up like the way I came up. I was a vice lord. At the age of 13, your age, I was in a juvenile detention center. That was just the beginning. Go, go out there on them streets. Ask somebody who shotgun is. Everybody know me. Everybody out here know me. I know your daddy, too. Your daddy was a good dude. Well, guess what else your daddy liked to do? He liked to shoot them guns. All of us got them same stories. What's your uncle's name? Yeah. What's your other uncle's name? Curtis. What's your other uncle's name? Yeah. Who? Yeah. I know your whole family. But every last one of them boys shot guns. Every last one of them. But where they at right now? Your daddy in jail doing time right now. Do something positive. You know, a lot of people wait till it's too late. Maybe this is God we're showing y'all. He goes something right here, man. Take advantage of it. Their fathers out on the streets in jail. And it's typical. It's something normal. <laughs> they got the holy city on the side of this. But I got to take a picture of standing right here. Would you say the odds are probably against these kids? The odds against them is two ways. Jail or dead? Jail or dead? That's being honest. What did Dr. Thomas tell you? What did Mr. Robinson tell you? Pay now or pay later. You don't let us train these kids. You're going to spend much more money on them in jail. <laughs>